Hey gang, Anthony Radzikavich here, and I'm just going to cover installing OpenSUSE 13.2. Now, before we begin the class, we are going to be using the LPIC1 CompTIA Linux Plus Certification Book by Rob Tracy. Now, the first steps that we're going to have to do is open up your browser and navigate to the URL open OpenSUSE.org. Org. When this loads, click the Get It button. And please, please, for the sake of the class, choose Legacy 32 bit PC. It's going to cause a lot less uh, issues as far as us staying on the same page. And save that file and just go ahead and let that download. Alright, now that that's finished downloading, open up VMware Player and click create new virtual machine choose the bottom option I will install the operating system later and click next we'll be using Linux and choose open SUSE in the version options click next now in the virtual machine name you can choose whatever you would like I'm just gonna call mine open SUSE 13.2 now make the maximum disk size 30 gigs and split the virtual disk into multiple files. In case you have to transfer this, it makes it much, much faster to do. So now we're in Customize Hardware and change the memory to 1024, so that'd be one gig of RAM. And we can change this uh, media to use the ISO image file, click Browse, and navigate to where you downloaded the ISO from before. Click Open, click Close, finish and now you see the virtual machine on the left hand side you could click the play button there or there or you could double click this to get it to run all right now that we're in go down to installation and press enter And now we're to the initial screen of the installation. So we have language English and keyboard English and a license agreement. Go ahead and click next. And now it's just probing your system to see what kind of hardware that you do have. And when this is finished, it'll ask you if you want to add any extra media. Uh, so just ignore that for now click next and in this course we're going to do some expert partitioning for installation so click expert partitioner and just wait a little while for this to load uh, click remind me later for that all right, and uh, now that this is loaded, I clicked on hard disks, and you notice all of the partitions that happened automatically. We're just going to go ahead and delete all of these. And this may take a little bit of time to uh, process all of this, so don't worry if it takes more time than what you see. So I'll just click delete, and yes. All right, now click add partition. We're going to do a primary partition next. And we're going to make this one 100, uh, 100 megabytes. Click Next. And this will be an operating system partition. So click Next. And for the file system, choose ext 4 And the mounting point, choose Boot. And click Finish. And when that's finished, click Add Partition again. We're going to add another one. Primary Partition. 
And we're going to make this one two gigabytes in size. Click Next. And this one is going to be the swap. So swap is uh, just like your RAM, but on the hard disk. So in Microsoft, that would be comparable to the paging file system. And now that that's finished, go ahead and click Add Partition again, Primary Partition, and we'll make this 8 gigabytes in size. Click Next, Operating System, Next. File System, X4, and make the mount point this forward slash, that's root. Click Finish, and we'll just add one more partition. So click Add Partition again, Primary Partition, make this one 3 gigabytes in size. Click Next, Operating System again. The file system is X4, and we're going to make this one there. Finish. And when this one comes in, just press Accept. All right, so now that that is changed, click Next. And now we can change our uh, clock and time zone. So since we're in Phoenix, we'll choose Arizona. And uncheck this hardware clock set to UTC. Also go into the other settings. And instead of synchronizing with an NTP server, we're just going to have this a manual configuration and make sure that's right, change the time now, and click Accept. Alright, and when you're finished with that, go ahead and click Next, and you'll get a message warning you about the hardware clock set to UTC. Don't worry about that. Just continue, and then choose GNOME Desktop as your desktop selection. Click Next, and type the user's full name, and make sure you remember this. It's anything you want, but I'm going to type in Tux Penguin. The username is going to be Tux, and the password is capital M3LINUX273 as shown on screen. So go ahead and type that twice and then uncheck the automatic login option and then click next. All right, now this just shows your installation settings and what we have so far. So something that we're going to work with is software. You can see the list of software that we have, but you can click on this to see the software selection and system tasks. So go ahead and scroll down this list, and we are going to choose the C and C++ development kit. So go ahead and check that. But then we're also going to uh, install some uh, games here but you need to do it in details if you look at the check mark next to games it's not a solid check mark but a smaller one so you see on the right hand side there are all sorts of games that you can choose from I'm going to choose C smash and frozen bubble this frozen bubble is awesome and you can choose whatever else you would like however don't overload your system remember we still have to work with this <laughs> and then just go ahead and click next and when this loads click install so this is where you have to be patient and just wait for it to do its thing uh, so install install and should be good to go so here's the loading screen and I'm just gonna speed it up for the video So there we go it'll reboot if you don't do anything it'll reboot in 10 seconds as you saw And here we are. Go ahead and press enter and type in your password to get logged in. And hey, why not? Why don't you open up Frozen Bubble and give it a shot? While you're at it, why don't you play around with the other applications and see what's available to you in the system. So I thank you for watching. Please leave a like, subscribe, share, and welcome to class. And remember, happy Linuxing. <laughs>